Good afternoon, hockey fans, and welcome to the Air Motor Center in Woodstock, New Brunswick. We've got Maritime Division play set to go here in the Air Motor Center. The uh, Western Valley Panthers are at home hosting the first place Tri County River Cats. Panthers sitting third, 14 points back of the River Cats, only one point back of the Southern Sting, who they were supposed to play last night, but due to the storm that passed through the region, uh, the Sting did not make the trek up the valley, and that game will be uh, made up at a later date, but we do have the River Cats in town uh, this weekend, so it's not a total loss. It's River Cats 16 and 3 on the season against the Panthers. Uh, they are 4 and 1. This is the 6th uh, and final game between regular season game between these two teams this year. Tri-County has outscored the Panthers 38-13 in those 5 games play underway here in Woodstock. Arneson firing it in from the neutral zone and getting the start for the Panthers tonight is Tyrell Scriver. On the bench is Adam Graham backing him up. At the other end, it's Mason Vino, and Nick Parsons is on the bench. Logan Daigle is a scratch for the River Cats this afternoon. Panthers win the defensive zone faceoff. Harding trying to clear the zone. Can't get the puck past Cam Arneson. Now it's banged down into the Tri-County end. Fired around by Pino. Terrio shovels it out of the zone, and Jack Price takes off with it, chasing the puck down into the corner. Arneson was waiting out front, coming into the zone late. Yaroslavsky coming off the bench. Up to the point where number 19, Michael Drost, is in the lineup for the River Cats this afternoon. Andrew Peary able to flip the puck down. Icing, if it makes it, it hits the pads of Vigno. Stretch pass up, tipped into the zone by Marcus Gray. Carson right out back to gather that puck, and Yaroslavsky strips him. Pass up to the point, gets out. Good eye. Away to the races, he's gonna take a shot on Vigno. Sharp angled shot, he couldn't find the pass. He was looking for Jackson Cogger on the far side. Drost. Up to Yaroslavsky, he handed it off to Gray. He takes a check, but it's carried in by Gillespie. Shot on, and Scriver making the save at the Panthers. And scratches for Western Valley tonight. Liam Clark up front. Isaac Shaw and Connor Anderson on the back end. The Rivercats are without Ethan Adams and Nathaniel Dryden up front. Braden Daigle and Matt Lint on the blue line are absent this afternoon. Tip at the side of the net. Good tip there by Nick Donovan. Good stick. Just sent the puck wide. And here goes Goodine again. He's got Cogger this time. Cogger with the sh Shot, Vigno making the pad save. Goodine barely got that pass through. Good defensive stick by the Rivercats defenseman. Panthers six and four in their last 10 games. Big win last weekend over the Thunder. 6-4 victory brought the Panthers to within one point of the Sting. Rivercats 8 and 2 in their last 10. Blair with a shot from the blue line. Dangle in front by Jack Rivington, trying to kick it past Vigno. Vigno holds the post, keeps the pad down. Donovan back the other way, going in alone, looking for the far side, missed. Puck comes up the boards to the point, and the Panthers are able to get it out to center. Pino fires it back in and around. Tri-County gaining control on the far side. Matt Malone going hard into the end boards. Checked by Rivington. Rivington digs the puck out, looking for McCatton. He gets the stick lift. Puck comes out to center. 
Crawford couldn't could catch up to it for the Panthers. McCatton over skates at Rivington, throws the puck free. Crawford trying to get to it. Matt Malone gets there first and settles it down to his defense. Brody Hayes now up the right side. Drops it back for DeMerchant. DeMerchant gets a shot away and that's scooped up by Scriver. Zach Graham leading the scoring for the Western Valley Panthers, leading the goal in goals, 14 and points, 25. Matt McCatton's got 13 assists to lead in the helpers column. Another defensive faceoff win for the Panthers. Harvey gains center, fires it in. Vino's playing that around the board, stopping in the corner by Noah Grant, Harding on the near side. Noah Kill Collins. Shovels the puck up to Harding. Harding takes the one-timer and it's tipped just over the net by Noah Grant. Back out to the neutral zone. Harding backing off, looking for the pass. Harding shoveling the puck back in. My apologies, folks. I forgot all about the scoreboard. I will get that started and updated here in a second. There's a shot on from the neutral zone. Scriver makes the save and holds on to the rebound. Sixteen fifteen. River Cats have not scored. It is a scoreless game here in Woodstock. And that's an icing against the Panthers. Face off coming all the way back down into the Panthers end. Going to be to the right of Scriver. Rivercats win the draw and the shot hits a stick, still makes it to the net. Scriver holds on for another face off. And in the zone, Price wins another draw back. Pass across and making no mistake, Arneson picks the top corner and makes it a one nothing hockey game. Four oh seven into the first period. Arneson's fifth on the season. I believe assist will go to Kevin Fenwick. Fenwick gets an assist on that. I believe Jack Price should have gotten another one with the face-off win. That went back to Fenwick. And Tri-County getting out to the early lead. Panthers able to move the puck around the zone. Get it out. Zach Graham gets past Pino. Gets a shot on and Vino makes the save. Pino moving the puck behind the net. And misplay there. Kilpatrick couldn't pick up the puck cleanly. Pino puts a glove over it, freezes it, and will take the face off inside the Tri County zone. Rivington loses the draw, digging it out of the pile, was drossed. Rivington gets it back at the line, moves it back for Kieram Gallagher. Gallagher can't clear the zone. Now Rivington, cross-ice pass, finds Crawford. Crawford looking to return the pass, got tied up. Harding down into the corner for Rivington. Rivington's centering pass taken away and skated out. Ryland Gilbert with a good stick in close, and we've got an offside. The 
Faceoff coming back out of the Panthers zone. 14-30 to go here in this first period. one nothing the score in Woodstock. Rivington wins the draw. Lost the handle. And it's sent back into the zone by the River Cats. They've got time. Centering pass coming up top to Galbraith. Galbraith shot, that deflected and almost had an open cage there. Deflected to the corner and his second shot off a stick and out of play. Both teams making wholesale changes here with the faceoff in the Panthers' end. River Cats winning another draw. Galbraith trying to send the puck towards the net, got caught up in the bodies. Rivington gets it out. Carson Rideout jumping up into the play, finds Rivington. Rivington centering pass hits the skates of McCatton. To ride out, ride out, sends it into the crowd, and that's deflected just wide by Fenwick. Brody Hayes bringing that puck back up into the Panthers zone, and then it bounces back out past him. Rivington all alone. Gonna buy some time here. Back up to ride out. He one times that past the net. Bounces high up the other side and out. Chasing that was Noah Grant. Panthers changing, trying to finish a change here. Pino off the boards to center, right out. Fires it back in, heads off to uh, get the deep pairing changed up. Terrio back to the Panthers blue line. He's stripped of the puck. Kieran Gallagher getting the puck to center. No further, Pino steps up and it's swung into the zone by Arneson. Driver leaving the puck back there for his defense. Jaden Blair trying to skate forward with it. Can't get across the blue line. Stumped back in deep. Gallagher overskates the puck with a Terrio on him. Arneson centering pass. Gallagher play, clears it back to the corner. Arneson set, plays it up to the point and Dross couldn't hold it in for the River Cats. Cross ice pass and that will be icing against Tri-County. Twelve thirteen to go in this first period. Tri-County with the one nothing lead over the Panthers. Panthers winning the offensive zone face off. Harding fires it down in the far corner. Chasing that is Andrew Peary. He sends it behind the net for Gould. Gould, centering pass, comes all the way up to the point. Carson Rideout trying to work it down low. Got to the corner, and Peary covering at the corner, sends it down in front of the net. Isaac McLaughlin swatted that on. Vigneault with another save. Harding firing a slapper from center. Gloved out of the air by Vigneault. He keeps the play going. Arneson. Taken down, McLaughlin sending the puck to the corner. Gould can't gain control behind the net. Gilbert getting the puck up and out to Gray. Gray dumping it into the Panthers' end. Scriver's going to leave it. Harding snaps it down, looking for Andrew Peary. That was broken up, and another opportunity uh, goes all the way down. Harding argues that that was tipped in the middle and he's not going to get a decisive decision on that, although the men in stripes are discussing it. And it's going to be a face-off at center. So it does get overturned. There was a tip in the neutral zone. So face off at center, 11-11 to go here in period number one. Good on, winning the face off forward, but can't drag it across the line. 
Cogger fails to dump it in deep. Yaroslavsky back the other way, dodges one check. Getting in close and Scriver making another save and hanging on to the rebound. Face off to the right of Scriver. Goodine wins the draw. Fired around the boards by Jackson Peary. It's flipped out. Cogger can't knock down the bouncing puck, but Galbraith brings it back into his zone. Goodine to Cogger, his shot off the mark. And then he was knocked off his mark. Cogger coming to the near boards. Puck gets out over the blue line. Jaden Blair fires it back in. Galbraith up for Gillespie. Cross ice pass finds Yaroslavsky. Back to Gillespie. It's poked away from him by Scriver. Panthers can't clear the zone. Puck gets past Scriver and Gillespie right there to knock it in. Makes this a 2-0 game for the Rivercats. 9.50 gone off the clock. That's Preston Gillespie's fourth of the season. Rivington breaking in on the backhand, can't get it away. Kilpatrick and Gray getting the assists on the Gillespie tally. Pass out front, broken up. Crawford heading back the other way. Back out to center. Black sends it ahead. Getting in. Donovan with a shot just over the crossbar. Another shot deflected to the cor near corner. And the puck comes out over the Panthers' uh, blue line. Tri-County offside, so they check on side, giving Harding time. Rivington with the drop pass misses McCatton. Coming back the other way, Matt Malone is driven hard into the boards. Irvington sending the puck around. It's stopped on the far side by Hayes. Panthers will try the near side. Kept it, kept alive by Gilbert momentarily. Carson Rideout now bringing it back the other way. He gets a shot away, blocker save for Vigno. Pass through the middle, broken up by Noah Grant. Kyle DeMerchin got the puck to center and it rolls into the Panthers zone. Harvey takes the pass off the boards. He's pushed off the puck by Drost. Panthers centering pass there for Rideout. He steps up and is stopped once again by Vigna who dives out of his crease to cover up that puck. Vigno looking solid as always. Jack Price ready to take the draw against Harvey. Wins it to the corner. Galbraith moves it around. Through the middle for Price. Price looking to return that pass. It knocked down the bouncing puck but couldn't center it. Galbraith shot off the end boards. Bodies down, in, too many Panthers in behind the net. Scriver comes up big with Arneson looking for his second of the night standing on the doorstep all alone. Arneson now flips it out for Hayes into the crowd. Puck comes up the hash marks and Flipped out of the zone by Jaden Blair. 
We've got a penalty coming here. It's going to be a cross-checking call against the River Cats. Jack Price. So the River Cats uh, take the first penalty of this game. The Panthers will look to uh, get on the board and cut this lead in half. Their power play percentage uh, coming into the game, 23.7%. But they're against a penalty kill unit. That puck is up and out of play. Penalty kill unit of the Tri-County River Cats, an 89.4 success rate. Tri-County winning the draw and are able to clear the puck all the way down the ice. Scriber settles that puck down. Good line up the boards for Rivington. Rivington can't, fails to corral the puck. He does get it back from the River Cats. Can't bring it through the feet of Kilpatrick. Stays inside the zone. Right out gathers it on the near side. Settles it down to Goodine up top. Goodine to McCatton. McCatton spinning back. Back up to Goodine. Goodine, wrist shot. That was uh, blocked by Yaroslavsky. Cross to McCatton. Back up to Goodine, one timer, and that's sent to the corner. Right out with an opportunity, and the net comes off. It's Moorings. So the whistle goes, 104 to go in the penalty to Price. Panthers able to get the draw and set up. Pass up for Gould, gets a shot through. Vino makes the save. Mc McLaughlin couldn't get his shot through on the rebound. Sends the puck behind the net. Crawford gets it back from Andrew Peary up to Harding. Harding, his pass out of the reach of Peary. Crawford takes his man into the boards. Peary trying to dig it out. Gets it out, back up to Harding. 25 seconds on in the power play. Peary with the shot right into the chest of Vigneault. Vigneault jumps on to the rebound, collides with Crawford, scrambling for that loose puck. And Vigneault able to freeze it just in time. 19 seconds left on the Panthers' power play. 5.40 to go here in the first period. Vino resetting his equipment after that collision. Andrew Peary waiting the draw. Now Gillespie meets him at the dot. And we are ready to go once more. Gillespie wins the draw back, loses his stick. Rivercats get the puck around the boards. Gould holds it in and then fired off a stick and out of play. 13 seconds remaining on the power play now. Faceoff's gonna stay inside the Tri-County end. Rivercats win another draw. And uh, they fail to clear it, but Gould's cross-ice pass comes out over the blue line. Harding brings it back in. Can't get in cleanly. Andrew Peary right there. Penalty is over. Peary flips the puck into the Rivercats' territory. Kilpatrick fires it back out to center. Tri-County wanting to get the regular lines on. Cogger drops the puck back to Peary. Peary with a shot on. Vigneault makes the save and the puck skips rebound. Out. Skips over Peary's stick. Cogger moving him back to his D. 
Kicked out to center by Rideout. Up to Gould. Gould into the skates of Peary. Peary dropping it back all the way back to his brother Jackson. He ripped it over the net. That popped back out off the end glass. Puck stayed in play. Andrew Peary with the steal at the red line. Austin Black cycling back around. Gets into the Panthers end, dodges a check, blows a tire. Carson Rideout's going to skate it back the other way with Gould. Gould heads off. Rideout going backhand, and it's swatted away from him. Rivercats send it up to Galbraith. Galbraith can't get it out of the zone. Graham fires a shot on. And Puck's glove down by Vigno. Faceoff will stay in the Tri-County end. Demerchant sliding into the dot. Good eye on the far, on the other side. Rivercats come away with the draw. Jackson backing off, fires it around and out to center. Blair sends it back in for the Panthers. Coming back the other way, Rivercats, nice job there by Brody Hayes. Lost the puck, however, gathered up, a shot on. Scriver made the glove save and couldn't get a hold of the rebound. Rivercats bang it through the five hole and they've got a three nothing lead. 16-24 into the first period. Just like that. Brody Hayes bringing the puck into the zone and then finishing things off in front. That's his fifth of the year. Gallagher back for the Panthers and that will be an icing against Western Valley. All the way back down, and the face-off's going to be to the right of Scriver. Merchant again across from Goodine. River Cats come away with the puck with control. Galbraith into the crowd, bouncing puck, hits the side of the net, goes behind. Chance there for Hayes at the side of the net. We've got bodies flying everywhere. Scriver at the bottom of that pile. Matt Malone was sent over top of Scriver. He got hit in the side of the face by someone. That was an unpleasant collision. No penalties on the play. We'll reset. Both teams changing things up. Price out there against a Rivington. Rivington wins the draw to the corner. Rideout sends it around. McCatton on the near side. Challenged by Arneson. Buck comes all the way back down to the River Cats territory. Fenwick on the far side. Gains the red line, fires it in. Comes around to the near side. Harding trying to work the puck up the boards. Arneson's right there, centering pass, and it's cleared out by Liam Crawford. Crawford sending it ahead. McCatton chasing. Icing waved off. Galbraith has to play it. Up to the point. Crawford takes out Arneson along the boards. Rivington gets knocked down. McCatton gets knocked down as well. Arneson finds the puck at the point. Stripped of it by McCatton. Catton can't get a shot on. Puck goes behind the net. Terrio pushes it ahead. Out of the zone, right out. Make sure that that stays away from Price. Price now, cross ice pass for Galbraith. Galbraith up the boards, tipped into the zone by Arneson. Harrison right out's gonna pick this up for Western Valley. And he's going to take it all the way to the net. Tried to go for the sharp-angled shot. 
couldn't sneak it off his stick. Backs it off into the corner for Jacob Gould. Gould shot, missed the net. Right out, picks up the puck on the near side. Goes for another skate. Far side, back up top. Finds Jackson Peary. Down to Andrew Peary. Centering pass. Knocked out of the zone. Jackson Peary back. McLaughlin pokes it ahead for the Panthers. Stretch pass. Broken up. Coming off the bench was Jaden Blair to pick that puck up. McLaughlin now down in the corner. Gould trying to center. McLaughlin looking over his options. Gets a shot off. Vino with the save. Peary trying to set up Gould and the puck is knocked back out to center ice. Andrew Peary fires the puck back in to the River Cats end. Kilpatrick, second opportunity, gets it up the boards but not out. Andrew Peary keeping it in. Couldn't get the puck in between the hash marks. Donovan coming back the other way, fires the puck to the far side. Austin Black over there. Gather it up for Tri-County. He fires it off the end boards. And the puck comes out of the zone. Gould can't get to it. Drost was there. And the Rivercats come in offside. 18 and a half seconds to go here in the first. Three nothing the score for the visiting Rivercats face off outside the Panthers end. Nick Donovan, Brad Goodine, square up. Graham pulls the pocket out of the crowd. All the way down, Vigno plays it to the corner. Panthers looking for a quick one here and the puck skips out over the stick of Harding. Goodine on the backhand and he's just gonna send it into Tri-County territory. First period ends, uh, three nothing the score for the Tri-County Rivercats. 15 minutes on the clock, Arneson got, uh, for the intermission, Arneson got uh, things started, 4.07 into the first. Gillespie with his fourth of the year, 9.50, and Hayes made it three nothing with his fifth on the season. We're going to take a 15 minute break here in Woodstock and we'll be back for period number two, Tri-County with a 3 nothing lead over the Western Valley Panthers.
And we're back here at the Air Motor Center in Woodstock. Uh, the second period about to get underway. The Tri-County Rivercats with a 3-0 lead over the hometown Western Valley Panthers. First period, Arneson from Fenwick, Gillespie from Kilpatrick and Gray, and Hayes from Malone. Panthers with the only man advantage in that first period, and they failed to get on the board, have not been able to solve Vino at the Tri-County end. Tyler Scriver holding fort for the Panthers. Had a couple bang past him on rebounds. Panthers look to get back to a better start here in the second. Puck fired in, Vigno leaves that behind the net. Rivercats fail to clear, Pincatton had the puck skip on him. Pino up the boards, Yaroslavski cross ice, Gillespie couldn't knock down the puck and it's going to be an icing against Tri-County. Rivercats with a strong hold on first place in the Maritime Division. And right like that, the Panthers a score. Crawford from behind the net puts it in and makes it 3-1 time to make the donuts. Liam Crawford puts his team on the board. 29 seconds in to the second. That's his eighth on the season. from McCatton and just like that Tri-County coming back the other way three on two long shot from the boards Scriver makes the save <laughs> Panthers win the defensive zone draw but Carson Rideout pinned along the boards puck comes up to the point Cogger with a cross ice pass for Graham. Graham trying to split the D. Knocked off of his stick and Goodine fires a shot from the point. Another shot from Goodine. Hits Vigno and the puck loose. Graham banging away at it and the referee lost sight of it. Causing the whistle to go. Zach Graham looking for his 15th of the year. And letting the referee know. Vigno once again fixing his equipment. Good eye and Price to the faceoff dot. Drost takes the puck to the corner. Couldn't get it up the boards past Graham. Cogger kicks it out front. Croft, uh, Goodine with a couple opportunities. First one was saved by Vigno. Second one goes wide to the corner. Jackson Peary keeping the puck in momentarily, and then it's a knocked out past him on the second try. Right out, up the boards. Goodine tips it up into his bench and out of play. What's up? Faceoff's going to come to just outside the Panthers line. Andrew Peary wins the draw back. It's sent forward to the Tri-County line and the defense bring it in. 
Cross, cross ice pass. Panthers disrupt and a stick in the legs of Jake Gould. He goes down to the ice. Tri-County offside. Peary cross to Rideout. Rideout gets out of the zone across center. He's going to take it all the way, trying to get through. Lost the puck as he hit uh, Ryland Gilbert. Gould with a shot, looking pass, flipped that towards the net, couldn't fool Vigno. Glove save for Mason Vigno. Andrew Perry winning the draw, McLaughlin fires a shot off a stick and out of play. So we'll reset uh, to the left of Vigno. Perry and Yaroslavsky again. Yaroslavsky wins it back. Kilpatrick moves it behind the net to the far side for Gillespie. Gillespie, his clearing attempt blocked twice by Gould. Now it's moved ahead by Marcus Gray. Gillespie centering opportunity. Yaroslavsky looked for the poke. Puck went past the net and the net is off at the Panthers end. Scriver resets it. And we'll reset the clock. I am trying to keep it updated for you. 17-17 left to go here in this second period. Referee going over to the River Cats bench to have a chat. Not sure. Looks like everything's settled and we're good to go. Perry wins the draw. McLaughlin fanned on the cross ice pass. Comes back to Kilpatrick on his own blue line and the Cat River Cats fire it up the ice for an icing, everyone missed that in the neutral zone. We're gonna come all the way back down. To the right of Vigno. Tri-County with only four games remaining. Two against the Sting and two against the Thunder. I'm not sure if they have any makeup games, I know uh, the Panthers have a makeup game next Sunday afternoon, and they'll have to make up the uh, game last night where the Southern Sting did not come up to Woodstock. An opportunity there. Andrew Peary tips the pass just past the far side of the net. Shot on by Charlie Jackson. Rebound was there. Scriver has lost his stick. Point shot, fired wide, centering opportunity, comes it back up to the point, Pino. Fires it down low, bouncing puck goes wide of the net. Turning and firing was Jackson, didn't get a lot on it, and it's gonna be an icing all the way back down into the River Cats end. So Scriver gets his stick back, checks to make sure that it's okay. Faceoff's gonna be to his left. And both Peary and Price tossed from the dots. Gould comes in, loses the draw to Terrio. And a long shot makes it through Scriver. Kevin Fenwick makes it 4-1. Tri-County. That was a seeing eye shot from the blue line. Scriver didn't have an opportunity. 3.49 into the second. Tri-County answer back. That, that's Fenwick's third on the season. River Cats restore the three goal lead. The Panthers will look to answer. 
Cross ice pass. Arneson making some room and flips that one off the crossbar. Terrio down low. Shot hits the post. Terrio gets the lone assist and the River Cats are pressing hard here. Arneson on the far side. Up to the point for Galbraith. Back down to Arneson. Down low and they work it back up top for Fenwick. Fenwick wrists it towards the net. This time pad save for Scriver. Fenwick again. Shot into the crowd. Blocked by Harding. Kill call and settling the puck down. Comes back to him on the board. He gets it out to center. Fenwick's going to fire it back in. Off a stick to the far corner. Right out. Trying to chip it up and out. Can't get that pass to Arneson. Terrios knocked down. Arneson sends the puck to the corner. Centering pass coming all the way over to the near side. Shoveled out by Grant. Harvey. Stealing the puck in the Tri-County zone, but his pass picked off by Brody Hayes. Hayes goes down in the corner. Puck reversed to the far side. Galbraith's going to skate it out. Gets to center, taken off of his stick. McCatton sends the puck back out to the neutral zone. Rivington picks it up, has Harvey with him. Rivington backhand through the blue paint. Harvey couldn't get a stick on it. Rivercats. Head back the other way. Malone ahead. Demerchant tipped it into the zone. Demerchant in the corner. Centering pass off a of body. Malone backhands it past the net. Puck stays in play. Demerchant gloves it down. William Crawford skating out for the Panthers. McCatton trying to bring it in. He gets bumped off the puck. Malone around his net. Gilbert around to the near side for DeMerchant. Kyle DeMerchant. Dross plays that to cross the ice. And it gets out of the zone on the stick of Brody Hayes. Big hit at center. Rivington knocked down. Bouncing puck comes out over the blue line. Yaroslavsky gets it back from DeMerchant. Yaroslavsky shot. His shot blocked by Jackson Peary. Rivington up to Graham. Track meet here in the second period. These two teams end to end action. Cogger to Graham. Graham wrist shots. Shoulder save for Vigno. Puck stays in play up to the point. Peary trying to knock it back down low. Rivercats get it over the line. Peary sends it back into the near corner. Drost backing off, finds some room through the middle. Finds Gillespie, Gillespie taken hard into the boards by Cogger. Puck pops out and just like that, Daniel Yaroslavsky makes it 5-1 ends. The end to end track meet in the last three or four minutes. 7.35 into the second. Great action both ways. Scriver is coming out. Adam Graham is going in for the Panthers. And the Rivercats have the Panthers backed into a corner here. Yaroslavsky with his 11th of the campaign. Panthers win the draw. Gould coming across the line. Gillespie and Gray with the tallies. That's Gray's uh, second assist of the night. Tenth on the season. Kilpatrick tipping the puck into the zone. McLaughlin back the other way. McLaughlin 
Setting up Harding. Harding looking for the tip. Gould set up in front. Couldn't get it past Vigno. Puck comes out past Harding. Gallagher chips it back to McLaughlin. Coming back to cover was Austin Black. Able to move the puck back to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick through the middle for Black. Black bumped by Harding. He gets back to the puck on the end boards. Donovan back to Black on the far side. Black bounces the stick over, puck over the stick of Jackson. Fenwick peels all the way back. Up through to Black. Sorry, to Terrio. Terrio ahead for Donovan. Donovan trying to take the puck to the net. Peary steps in the way and takes him to the end boards. Donovan still with the puck on his stick. Good job here by Nick Donovan now. Passes it down. Galbraith with a shot. That deflects up and out. Andrew Peary pass behind Grant. Grant dishes it to the corner. Peary picks it up. Centers. Kill Collins had his stick lifted. Right out to Kill Collins. Kill Collins. Checked along the boards by Galbraith. Terrio digs the puck out. Harvey gets it back. And it's fired back in by right out. Vigno has to play this. Brings it around the boards. On the near side waiting, Matt Malone. Malone's pass out to center. Peary to Crawford. Crawford up the boards through the skates of McCatton. Fenwick's able to push it back up to Terrio. Terrio. Trying to split the D. Chipped off of his stick and out. McCatton on the far side. Finds Crawford on the near side. Crawford looking for Harvey. Harvey finds the puck. Wrists it towards the net and it's gloved out of the air by Mason Vigno. So the Panthers got one on the board early in this second period, but the Rivercats have answered back with two of their own and have extended the lead to four. Jackson Peary with a bouncing puck. Vigneault was able to make the save, couldn't find the rebound, but his teammates cleared it out. Kyle Demerchin back up the other way. Crawford. Out, McCatton tips it to Rivington, heads straight to the net. Riv McCatton with an opportunity. Vigno made the save, puck laying right there with a wide open cage, and it's cleared out and up by Drost. Centering pass by Demerchant. Peary's outlet pass cut off by Drost. His shot nipped, nicked off a stick and out of play. Faceoff will stay inside the Panthers' end. 8.56 to go in the second. The visitors with a 5-1 lead over the Panthers. Panthers only one point behind the Sting for second place. They can't get out of the zone. Gillespie holding the puck down low. He finds it behind the net. Bumped off the puck by Blair. Zach Graham off the boards and out. Goodine couldn't gain control in the neutral zone. Rivercats pass up to the line. Red line, Yaroslavski pay, plays it back into his own zone for Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick to Yaroslavski through the middle. Pass ahead of Gillespie. Preston Gillespie going into the corner, trying to move that puck back up to the point. Puck bounces back to Marcus Gray. Gillespie into the skates of Kilpatrick, looking for the one-timer. Three on one, coming back the other way. Graham, pass, Yaroslavski caught up to Graham. Graham was able to feed it over to Cogger and his shot was blocked. Cogger now from center, dumping the puck in. Skated back the other way by Terrio. Oh, sorry, that was Kilpatrick jumping up into the play. Pass across. 
Black missed the tip. Zach Graham skating it back in, fires a shot on. Vino makes the save, but again, the rebound gets away from him. And again, he was finds himself looking for the pockets cleared up the glass and out of play. Seven twenty-three on this second period clock. Face off in the River Cats end. Andrew Peary wins it. Set up. Jackson Peary one timer and a glove save for Vino. Gould with the crisp pass. Out. Jackson Peary taking the one timer. Face off's going to move to the near side. Face-off one by Jackson. Cross-ice pass broken up by McLaughlin coming back. McLaughlin in the corner for the Panthers. Andrew Peary feeding it ahead. Gould couldn't get it into the zone. McLaughlin gets it over the blue line, but not deep. Bouncing puck back out to center. Donovan carries it in, trying to drop it off for Charlie Jackson. Jackson taken into the corner. Right out, knocked off the puck. Behind the net, Jacob Gould comes down low, moves it to the near side. McLaughlin waiting for, for the Panthers. Rivercats keeping Western Valley pinned in their zone, centering pass, good job there. Another opportunity comes all the way up to the point. Galbraith's shot was blocked by a Western Valley stick. McLaughlin can't get it out past Fenwick. Down low for Donovan. Donovan centering pass blocked by Jackson Peary. Peary's going to skate it up and crashing into his own netminder was Carson Rideout. And uh, Adam Graham is trying to shake that off, but he looks worse for wear. His right leg is causing him some discomfort. So we may see Scriver coming back into this game if he can't shake this off. Pass up to Grant. Grant sends it into the far corner. Harvey chasing for the Panthers. Gilbert stripped to the puck by Kill Collins. Gallagher shot tipped wide of the net. Grant up the boards, sends it back down low. Harvey with the big check behind the net. And Michael Dross gets up, didn't like that, gives Harvey a shot, and that will be a penalty against Tri-County. Drost will sit for two minutes or less. Harvey going off as well. Those penalties will negate themselves. It will be five on five hockey here. 5.14 to go in this middle frame. And being tossed from the dot is Price. Coming in is Terrio to take his place. Terrio wins the draw away from Rivington. Price on the near side, stripped of the puck by McCatton. He took the puck to the net. Vigneault made the save. McCatton gets a chip uh, in the face from Pino and one to the back by Vigneault. And an icing against the River Cats. Catton and Price to the dot. Banging away at the side of the net. Vino trying to find it. He finally does. And covers up. It's roughing penalties both ways to Harvey and Drost.
Faceoff goes to the River Cats. McCatton, though, able to move the puck. Crawford moved it behind the net. Terrio's going to carry it out for Tri County. Racing ahead, Jack Price to the corner. He takes the check from Harding. Arneson on the far side. Terrio gathers the puck at the point. Can't get it through the skates of Crawford. McCatton heading back into Tri County territory. Puck bounced on him, comes back to him. Terrio, stick lift. Uh, McCatton gets it back from him, sets up Rivington for the shot. That's blocked and cleared all the way down the ice. Another icing against the River Cats. It's a 5 1 lead. They're happy to ice that puck, get the get the break, and take a face off in their, in their end. Tri County winning another draw. Pino left the puck behind, behind the net. Price coming down to help. Puck sent through the middle, right out. Keeps it out of the zone. Terrio sends it in and heads off to the bench. Looking for a change after the icing. Carson right out. Checks his opportunities. Gets it up to center. Cogger sends it ahead. Graham trying to fight his way to the puck. Galbraith keeps him off the pocket. Demerchant on the far side spins out of the out of the corner, jumping up is Brody Hayes, and that puck covered up by Adam Graham. Three twenty-three to go in period number two, five-one. The lead for the visiting River Cats. Merchant across from Goodine. Goodine wins the draw. Panthers are able to move the puck around to the near side. Goodine at from center into the zone. Tried to drag that ahead and left it behind. Gallagher slaps it in from center. Galbraith back for the River Cats. Skating it out and up to center into the Panthers. And he's looking for a shot. Glove save for Adam Graham. Harvey and Drost are out of the penalty box, having served their two minutes. 2.53 to go here now in period number two. Off to the left of Graham. Andrew Perry draws in, wins it back. Harding in the corner. Panthers having trouble getting out of their own end. Now they send it down the ice and icing waved off. Galbraith back, he blows a tire. Perry trying to set up Gould. Perry knocked down and that will be a penalty against Galbraith. And it's a boarding call. So Braden Galbraith going off for the River Cats. And that will give uh, the Panthers an opportunity here to get back to within three. Two minute boarding call against Galbraith. And now the referee is sending Marcus Gray to the penalty box from the bench. And now Gray's going back over to the bench. I'm as confused as everyone else here in the building, folks. And that includes the referees at this point. So we're going to 
wait for the official call here. It is a power play for the Panthers. Gray heading back over to the penalty box. The penalty on the board is to Galbraith and I believe Gray may just be serving the two minutes. It might have, Galbraith's boarding would be two and a 10. We'll, fi we'll find out at some point. But it is a uh, Western Valley power play. They are 0 for 1 this afternoon. Rivercats will win the draw, fail to clear the zone. Minute misconduct to Gray. So he'll sit for 10. Harding at the point. Down to Gould. Gould walking the line. Finds Andrew Peary. Shot blocked. Peary sets up Harding. Harding shot blocked. Goes to the near corner. McLaughlin picks up the puck, but it's after Crawford. Knocks down his man with a hook. And we're gonna have some four on four hockey now. And then it would be a, a 46 second power play for the River Cats. So as wide open as this game has been, four on four will, should open it up a little bit more. Matt McCatton from his own zone. Skates it ahead, has Jackson Peary with him. His stick lifted, Rivington picks up the puck, feeds it over to Peary, Peary shot off the leg of Fenwick. Rivington up to the point, right out. Fails to keep it inside the zone. Back the other way. Comes Price. Price hauled down to the ice. Rivington heads back towards the River Cats territory. Spins back, looking for a pass. Down low for McCatton. McCatton back up to the point. Right out. Bouncing puck. And a breakaway for Boston Black. And Black makes no mistake and finds his way past a Graham. Austin, Austin Black with his eighth on the year. Great feed ahead there from Nick Donovan. 19.07 into the second. Still 20 seconds of four on four play. Uh, one of the River Cats players heading uh, off to the dressing room early. Did not catch who it was. Zach Graham bringing it into the zone. He's hauled down. Ryland Gilbert gets an assist as well. And the Panthers now down 6-1. And the River Cats are officially on the power play. Terrio sending the puck to the far corner. Jaden Blair backhands it up to the point. Black to Terrio. Terrio setting up to Merchant and he finds a short, sharp angled shot past Graham. On the power play this time. And it's 7-1 Tri-County with 11 seconds to go in the second.
River Cats pressing again, win the faceoff, and they get the puck deep into the Panthers end. And that's the second period, a 7-1 lead for Tri-County. That's Kyle DeMerchants, ninth of the season. And we've got if I'm seeing this correctly, we've got seven different scorers for Tri-County. They're going to take a six-goal lead into the third, that second period. Fenwick from Terrio, Yaroslavsky from Gillespie and Gray, Black from Donovan and Gilbert, Demerchant from Terrio on the power play. The Black goal was four on four, but all, before all that, 29 seconds in, Liam Crawford got his team on the board from Matt McCatton is eighth on the year. But from that point on, it was Tri-County. 15 minutes on the intermission clock. We will be back for period number three here at the Air Motor Center in Woodstock.
And we're back, period number three, set to get underway here in Woodstock at the Air Motor Center. It is a 7-1 score in favor of the Tri-County Rivercats. Western Valley Panthers with one on the board from Captain Liam Crawford. But the Rivercats, seven different scorers in this game. Arneson, Gillespie, Hayes, Fenwick, Yaroslavsky, Black, and Demerchant. Second period, the actually the only power play for the Rivercats. Uh, they were successful on at the end of that second. Demerchant from Terrio, four on four. Just before that, it was Austin Black being sent in by Donovan and Gilbert. The Panthers are 0 for 2 with the man advantage. Marcus Gray remains in the penalty box for the River Cats, serving a 10-minute misconduct. So it is five-on-five five hockey to start the third period. Mason Vigno between the pipes, putting up a great game for the River Cats. Adam Graham in for the Panthers now, having relieved. Tyrell Scriver. And we're underway in this third. Panthers backing off into their own zone. Harding off the glass and out to Rivington. Rivington goes down hard and draws the penalty behind the net. It's going to be a tripping call and the Panthers are going to get another opportunity here on the power play. Number five, Dylan Pino going to the box for two minutes or less. Like I say, the Panthers are 0 for 2. Referees are conversing with the linesman. Not sure what that was about, but we are reset. Rivington wins the draw. Rideout to McCatton. Back up top to Rideout. Carson Rideout across to Graham. Back to Rideout. McCatton on the near side. Centering pass tipped into the jersey of Vigno by Rivington. McCatton shot blocked. Rivington behind the net. Has the puck taken away from him. Rideout diving at the line. Holds it. McCatton back to Graham. Graham from the dot. Missed the net and the puck's gonna ring all the way down to the Western Valley zone. The penalty kill gets a change for Tri-County. Right out. Brings it all the way back into River Cats territory. Trying to spin away from Preston Gillespie. Gillespie pokes the puck to the line but not out. Goodine sends it back down into the corner. Graham behind the net for Rivington. Rivington out front to Graham. Graham snaps the shot and Vigno makes the save. Mason Vigno has been hard to beat tonight. He has given up some uh, rebounds. He's looked for the puck a few times, but each and every time his teammates bail him out, get the puck cleared away, and the Panthers have not been able to capitalize. Tri-County clears the zone under a minute to go in the power play. Gould up the left side with some speed. Cuts to the net, bouncing puck all the way up to Harding. Harding shot blocked. Demerchant, a feed ahead for Hayes. Getting back was Liam Crawford for the Panthers. Cross-ice pass, bounces away from Andrew Peary. Harding can't get the puck in deep, and Hayes sends it the length of the ice. 15 seconds on the power play now. McLaughlin across to Gould. Gould catching up to the puck, gets past Drost. 
Drost now pins him in the corner. Pino out of the box, back to five on five hockey. Puck pin deep in Tri-County territory. Bounces off the back of the net. Price trying to dig that puck out, takes his man Hardy into the corner. Knock McLaughlin down and Price brings the puck up. Finds Dross, Dross from center, blocker save for Graham, knocks that down to the puck, uh, down to the ice, Harding clears it out of the blue paint. Kill Collins, freeing up the puck for Crawford to Peary. Andrew Peary can't get around Black. Arneson back the other way, gets in to Panthers territory, tried to move the puck back up to Black. Bouncing puck down low, Drost behind the net, Kill Collins takes the puck away from him. Up to Blair, Jaden Blair on the line, back to Kill Collins, tip down low. Black sends it around the boards, Jackson Peary on the far side. Terrio trying to bang the puck past him, Grant comes in, pins him along the sideboards. Harvey knocked off the puck, but Kill Collins with a shot. Vino makes the save and holds on to the rebound. So the Panthers now 0 for 3 on the power play. River Cats penalty kill gets better coming into tonight's game. 89.4% on the year. That number's going to jump up after this evening's game. Aaron Stick on the ice. Cleared away, and just like that, the Panthers able to make it 7-2. Goodine snapping the puck past Vigno. 3-44. And Brad Goodine's got number eight on the season. Goodine pulling to his team to within five now. They've got some work to do. They aren't giving up yet. Zach Graham with the steal at the line, feeding it across. Cogger looking to tip it. Back the other way is Nick Donovan. Sends the puck into the near corner. That comes back up to the line. Graham and Cogger take off. Zach Graham gets a, an assist on the Goodine tally. And Goodine comes in off side. So the faceoff will come outside the Tri-County zone. 15-43 to go in the third. Visitors leading 7-2. Rivington wins the draw forward. Shot missed the net up to the point. Harding to McCatton. McCatton dodges the check, keeps the puck on his stick, flips it to the corner, tries to flip it to the corner. Crawford. Attempted to bang that towards the net. McCatton behind the net for Crawford. Tried to feed that out front. Did not make it to its target. Rivington. Yaroslavsky on the far side. Crawford battling with Yaroslavsky. McCatton centering attempt blocked. Gilbert tied up out front. McCatton had his stick tied up. Harding snaps a shot. That's blocked. McCatton another opportunity. Out front, shot, chipped, shot by Rivington, chipped off a stick and out. Watching his breath down. Tri County zone, 14.53 to go in the third. Panthers trying to take that puck towards the net. And Terrio back into the Panthers. 
fails to find the puck in the slot. Perry can't clear. Mario into the skates of Price. Price sends it up and a glove save. Um. Adam Graham has found his groove here in the third period. Take Price. Flips the puck to the far side. McLaughlin can't hold it. Stumped, found Price. Price couldn't take it to the neutral zone. Tips it ahead. Vino covers up and Vino. Another quick shot and a save. Panthers next action is next Saturday night at Sunny Corner versus the Thunder. They'll be home next Sunday for a makeup game against the Elsie Book Took Hawks. That game was supposed to take place on the 23rd of December, it was postponed. So another back-to-back -back next weekend for Western Valley. Terrio centering pass. Arneson, stick tied up, couldn't get a shot away. Then he's sent down to the ice. Andrew Peary back into the Rivercats end. Lost the puck around the boards. Arneson back the other way and a shot by DeMerchant is deflected up and out of play. Actually, I believe, yeah, faceoff coming outside the zone. That went straight out. That just rose on him as he was looking to go top shelf. So the faceoff will come outside the Panthers zone. No tip on that shot. Rivercats control the draw. Ryland Gilbert flips the puck into the Panthers' end. Jackson Peary off the glass, back out to center. Drost back there for the Rivercats. Cross to Gilbert. Gilbert gets across the line, but no further. Carson Rideout chips it ahead to himself. Breakaway, and he finds the back of the net for the third Panthers goal of the night. And his fourth of the year. 7.04 into the third. So a 7-3 score now with 12.56 to go in the third. That one's going to go unassisted. I thought, thought an assist would go to Jackson Peary there, but Carson Graham, Carson Rideout doing that all himself. And coming back the other way, Austin Black getting his second of the night. Answers back quickly. Makes the Panthers pay for a mistake at the line. And he's got two on the night, nine on the season. Seven twenty-eight, so only twenty-four seconds between those goals. And that too is going to go unassisted. 
And we've got a penalty coming here. Cross-checking call and a misconduct to Black. Black thought it was going to go the other way. So he will sit for double minor, four minutes on the clock. So the Panthers are down five. Sorry, I left the clock running there. Get a opportunity here on the power play. Rivington trying to take the puck towards the net. They Panthers 0 for 3 on the power play this afternoon. Centering a pass cleared away by Galbraith. Graham touches the puck with a high stick. Rivercats next to touch at Hayes coming in short-handed. Sends a shot towards the net. Missed. And Matt McCatton's going to start back the other way. Catton backhands the puck in, chases it down. Right out to McCatton, top of the circle, shot blocked. Right out holds the line but puts the puck right at Fenwick who clears it down the ice. Graham, stretch pass to Rivington. Rivington drops it off for McCatton. Catton skates it in, looking short side. Vigno makes the save. Zach Graham in the corner to Rivington behind the net. Rivington now being challenged. Right out. Tipped by McCatton, and that is gloved out of the air by Vigno. Whoa, is right. Good glove save there by Mason Vigno. To keep this five goal lead for his River Cats. A minute 24 gone in the first penalty to Black. Panthers trying to take the puck directly to the net off the face off. Instead they get it in the corner. McLaughlin to Andrew Peary. Peary trying to work it up top. He gets it to Harding. Harding with some room. Back to Peary. Peary snaps shot. That deflects wide. Harding on the far side. Jacob Gould. Cross to Peary. Peary back across to Gould. Gould had to reach behind him. McLaughlin shovels the backhand in. And the Panthers are successful on the first power penalty. Isaac McLaughlin makes it 8-4 with 10-23 to go in the third. His fifth of the year coming on the power play. Eleven thirty-seven into the third, and there's still two minutes on the clock for Austin Black. Gould and Peary get an assist. Harding at the point, fakes a shot. Yaroslavski went down for the block. McLaughlin in the corner. Goal scorer circles the net, drops the puck off for Gould. Jacob Gould back to McLaughlin, up top for Harding. Harding this time lets it rip. Vigno makes the save, puck bounces out wide. McLaughlin cross ice to Andrew Peary. Peary back to McLaughlin, his shot blocked by Hayes. Harding dives across, holds the line. Crawford down to Riving to Gould. And uh, this time the puck gets up to the point. Harding couldn't hold the line. Penalty kill changing here. Stretch pass for Andrew Peary. Peary trying to cut to the net. Galbraith was right there. 
keep him out wide. Gould. Puck chipped high. Glove down by the River Cats. Out to center. Right out. Brings it back in for the Panthers. Galbraith with a good stick. Takes the puck away. And he's going to be able to clear it all the way down. 25 seconds to go on the power play. Puck back behind the net for Carson Rideout. 16 seconds now. Rideout through the middle. Tipped by Charlie Jackson back into his own zone. Vigneault plays the puck up for Galbraith. Galbraith again clears the zone. Tipped ahead by Jackson. And that's the end of the second penalty to Black. Panthers successful on the first of the two minor penalties. Graham in the corner. Good on, trying to cut towards the net. Lost the puck. Graham gathers it for Western Valley. Cross ice pass. Good on. Tried to force that through. And uh, we've got an interference call coming and a technical to Zach Graham. So it's going to be a double minor to Zach Graham now. So the River Cats get an opportunity here. Four minutes on the board. 7.56 to go in this third period. 8-4 the score. Austin Black, he's got two on the night. Arneson. Arneson can't hold the line. The puck bounced over his stick and off the boards and out. Cross ice for Pino. Demerchant moving the puck back into his own zone. Pino now skates it out to center across for Arneson. Arneson drops it back to Black. Black centering pass, tipped just wide of the net by Malone. Jack Rivington, one-on-one, -on -one, a dangle backhand shot. Vino makes the save, holds on to the rebound. 3.08 to go in the penalties to Zach Graham. Puck off the face off, it goes out of play. Tri County back in action next weekend. A Friday night game at the Cuplex against the Southern Sting. And uh, then they've got the Thunder on the 26th, the Sting again on the 2nd of February, and the Thunder again on the 10th of February. Harding from his own zone sends the puck the length of the ice. Panthers on the penalty kill, so no icing. And uh, they've killed off a one minute of the double minor to Graham. Donovan cycles the Panthers zone up to Fenwick. Puck comes back to Fenwick, wrist shot on. And uh, Gr Adam Graham makes the save. Six twenty-four to go in the third. Two twenty-eight to go in the penalties to Zach Graham. Terrio on the far side. Pass across for Gilbert. Pad save for Graham. Puck underneath Carson Rideout in the corner. Trying to keep it there and kill off time. The first uh, penalty it has expired. Into the second penalty for Graham and the Panthers are able to clear the puck all the way down the ice.
Bringing it back up, Fenwick lost it, trying to go to the slot. Gray went down. Puck picked up by Terrio. He gets a shot away, and Adam Graham with another save for Western Valley. 5.28 to go, 1.32 to go, and the penalty to Zach Graham. The Panthers uh, back in action next weekend. They are on the road first to visit Sunny Corner. And then on Sunday afternoon at 12.45 start, they will host the Elsie Book to Cox here at the Air Motor Center. Austin Black, deep into the zone, drops it back. Arneson moves it across, shot by Pino, tipped wide of the net. And Andrew Peary back the other way, one-on-one -on -one with Pino. Peary turns, looking for Gould. Gould was tied up. Pino makes a, a block on the centering pass. Yaroslavsky with speed, tried to drop it off. Now he finds Black, Black's wrist shot, knocked out of play by Graham. 37 seconds remains on the power play for Tri-County. 4.33 go in the third. River Cats with an 8-4 lead over the Western Valley Panthers. Face off just outside the Panthers zone. Gallagher fires at cross ice. Drost back for the River Cats. Cross ice pass for Braden Galbraith. Galbraith from center. Finds Gillespie on the near side. Gillespie, cross ice pass, bounces over the stick of Matt Malone. Malone back behind the net for Gillespie. Up top to Drost. Drost, wrist shot, pad save for Graham. Near side to Galbraith. Gillespie up the boards, back down into the corner. Graham out of the box for the Panthers. Demerchant. Down low, out front to Demerchant, pad save. Graham kicks it free. The referee down, tied up with a couple of players in the corner. Play comes back the other way. Zach Graham trying to chase the puck down. He finds it behind the River Cats net. Graham challenged, and the puck comes out with Kyle Demerchant. Demerchant, another shot on. Adam Graham knocks it down. Puck gets away from him. Demerchant on the half wall. Push off the puck by right out. Crawford through the middle, finds Brad Goodine. Goodine tried to dodge the check and then set up Zach Graham. Graham overskated the puck. Crawford down to Goodine. Marcus Gray goes for a skate through his zone. Gets it out to the neutral zone. Right out taps the puck ahead to Goodine. Tri-County takes back control in their own zone. Galbraith backs off. Under three to go now. Galbraith taking stock and finds Yaroslavsky. Yaroslavsky trying to fight, feed it ahead for Hayes. Hayes backhands it on from the corner. Turned aside by Graham. Rivington out of the zone. Graham to ride out. Ride out gets a shot. That one bounces over the shoulder of Vino and in the back of the net. That's a. That's ride out's second of the night. Fifth on of the year, Panthers trying to make the game of this. 17-41 into the third. 8-5 the score. All kinds of action this afternoon in Woodstock. Rivington wins the draw back. Perry, two right out. Right out, fires it across ice. Rivington. Looking to pick that puck up, right out now along the boards. 
Centering pass, right out, looking for his third, and that's blocked. Now it's chipped over the net. Rivington and Graham get the assist. Graham's got two assists on the night. Tri-County back the other way, firing a shot wide was Arneson. Perry clearing it out of the zone, went through the skates of McCatton and Terrio back in. Terrio's shot blocked, now trying to backhand it for Arneson. Goes to the point, Pino's shot blocked by Peary. Rivercats not backing off here, putting on the pressure, looking for more, net is knocked off. Graham stretches out. And stop, stops the clock. 104 to go in the third. 8-5 the score here in Woodstock. Person right out with two on the night. Austin Black for the Rivercats with two himself. Six other scores for the Rivercats. Under a minute to go in the third. Panthers still trying to stretch this out. Matt Drost back for Tri-County. Malone ahead looking for Gillespie. Played away from him. Scramble at the line and Andrew Peary knocks it into the Rivercats end. Peary to Gould, Gould up around the boards. Comes back down to Peary from Gallagher. Gould now on the end boards. Puck taken out of the crowd by Drost. Flipped out to center. Blair knocks it back into the zone. Panthers offside. Giving the Tri-County time here and they will just take the rest of the time off the clock and take an eight, five, Victory on the road over the Western Valley Panthers. Their 17th of the year, and we've got Graham and Matt Malone with some extracurriculars afterwards. Now Charlie Jackson and Jaden Blair having words with each other. Everyone finally gets separated, the River Cats congratulate their goaltender on the victory, their 17th on the season. And the Panthers remain one point back of the Southern Sting for second place in their division with uh, only a few games remaining on the calendar. Panthers will be in action again next Saturday night at the Sunny Corner Arena against the Thunder. And then we'll be back here on Sunday afternoon, 12.45 p.m. start. Uh, the LC Book took Hawks will be in town for a makeup contest for everyone here at the Air Motor Center and Jeffrey. I am Devin Judge. We will see you next Sunday afternoon right here on AO Live.